A 20-year-old college student just invented a spray that stops bleeding and heals any wound instantly. When I was 20, I mostly sat around eating cereal and watching Cartoon Network. I'm Anthony, and NYU student Joe Landolina calls his breakthrough invention Veti Gel, and when it's applied to any open wound, it almost instantly stops bleeding and starts healing. It can be applied to surface wounds, internal wounds to organs or arteries. It's even been tested on second degree burns and pork loin, I guess. Ugh, that looks so gross. So how does it work? Well, uh, your body's got this thing called the ECM, the extracellular matrix. It's this structure that holds cells together and starts blood clotting when you're injured. And VetiGel is a synthetic version of your ECM. And because it's just like ECM, it naturally does different things depending on the type of wound it's healing. It can trigger blood clotting substances. It can activate your platelet cells to plug the hole, or it can just cover and compress a wound. Plants also have a material like the ECM, and Landolina actually uses genetically modified plant ECM to make VetiGel. And since plants are so hardy, uh, VetiGel can be stored in packets for a long time at any temperature from 33 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And there are other substances like this, mostly for military use, but they don't keep as well, and a lot of them need to be refrigerated. VetiGel is in testing right now at Inglewood Hospital in New Jersey, and the early results have been super positive. It was able to close up a sliced liver and a punctured carotid artery in rats. And I mean, you saw what it did to that pork loin. That's promising, right? So imagine for a second how this can change things, right? Instantly healing wounds and stopping bleeding in hospitals and on the battlefield. It's gonna have to be a game changer for EMTs and other first responders, right? And I wonder what this would do for people whose blood doesn't naturally clot easily. Could they just carry a tube of this around with them? Like people with allergies carry EpiPens? Medical technology is crazy, man. Where do you guys see this stuff being used? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.